Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mayor Carl Dean. Thank you very much. We're so glad to have you. Back in the day when WSM first went on the air, they invited the, the mayor was there, the governor was there. Some, it was a, a formal occasion, you know? Well, so. this, is a great, uh, this is a great concert tonight. Fantastic band, we just heard. Fantastic. Chuck Mead's done a lot for Nashville. So when you became mayor, you were mayor of Music City. And what, right. how did you approach the Music City part of the job? What did you, what did you want to do in your, in your heart and, and in your head? Well, one of the things I fundamentally believed before I got elected mayor and wanted to work on when I got elected was that Music City needed more live music. We needed to have um, <laughs> as much live music as possible, and we needed to embrace our, our brand or our identity as Music City. Um, I think we've done very well embracing that as our identity. When you go out around the country or you go even to other countries, when people hear about Nashville, they immediately think of music and they think of good times. So I thought it was important that we do everything that we could as a city to help support the music industry, help it grow. Um, I think it's important for us as a city to attract creative people to Nashville. I mean, one of the incredible assets our city has, we have a lot of things going for it. We got a great healthcare industry here. We're a center for healthcare. We're a center for hospitality. We have great universities. And we have this great music industry that has as its capital the creative talent of individuals, whether it's to write a song or to play an instrument or to perform, it's all about being creative. And any city in America would die to have those people there. So you, I'd be applauding too. So you spearheaded the creation of this Nashville Music Council, which uh, a few months ago had its first sort of public unveiling after a year of behind the scenes work right. and announced the committees that had been set up. Live music was one key direction and tending to that brand and the marketing of what we do here is another one. Right. And then uh, education was a big component, which I know is important to you. Right. And uh, what, besides those specifics, kind of what is the vision? How do you, who's on this council and how do you corral them to do something productive? Well, that's, it's a large group. It's about 40 to 50 people and they're all different sectors of the music industry and some people who are not in the music industry. But the idea is, for instance, in live music, I would like to see us do what Tom Morales has done here at the Loveless. This is a huge success. I mean, this is a, if you're coming to Nashville, you need to come here and see this show. Hey. Um, and, you know, and I can, vouch, I can vouch for this. You not only hear the best music, but you will eat the best fried chicken that you could ever possibly want. But we need to encourage more live music. We need to develop more venues. I think in education, the important thing there for education is education is the number one priority for the city. That is the thing we absolutely have to get right. But one of the things you would expect from Nashville that we need to deliver on is if you, if you are in Nashville, you would expect that our schools would have the best music programs of any schools in America. We're not there yet, but we're going to get there. And we're working hard to get that done. We've raised about $200,000 to bring in private consultants to work with us to help us develop a, a program for our public schools where we truly can have uh, the best music programs. It's important for our city to do that. And then I think going forward, we need to do whatever we can to encourage people, talented people, to come to Nashville, to move to Nashville, and to live in Nashville. You know, I can't stress uh, how valuable it is to our city to have great songwriters living here. I mean, that is absolutely key to who we are, and it's going to be key to our success going forward. And we need to create that environment where talented people want to be in Nashville because they have an opportunity here. As, of course, the music industry has had a tough decade, really. I right. mean, on top of the, the recession that's affected everyone, the music industry was having trouble beforehand. And, you know, the, the one thing you might be afraid of is a lot of creative people coming and landing here and starting to write songs, and suddenly there's no real market to, to sell those songs. What is the council's... I mean, it's hard to generalize, but to sort of the, what's the thinking about how to create those innovative new platforms, those new companies that might put a Pandora in Nashville or a Yahoo Music in Nashville? Are you well, seeing that happening? Well, I think that's the absolutely best question because one of the things we have to do is make sure that performers and writers are paid for their work. And I certainly support that. 
then we also, we need to be sure that Nashville is on the cutting edge. When we're looking for the technology that will be the next wave in the music industry, the next way to deliver music to people, Nashville needs to be a leader there. So as we're attracting creative people to our universities and to the music industries, we need to be attra attracting people who have the technological background where they can help Nashville be the center of the next wave in the music industry. And that, that's, that's absolutely vital. You know, Nashville is, I'm biased, but it is a, one of the greatest cities you can imagine. And I, I love talking about it because I can talk about Nashville with a passion and a sincerity um, that I really do believe, you know, our best days are still ahead of us. This is a great city, and I would certainly encourage everybody to come here as a tourist and come to, to the Loveless and come and see all the wonderful things we have to offer, but also consider moving here. If you got a dream and you got talent, this is the best city to be in. Well, all right. Mayor Carl Dean, we thank you so much for coming by, enjoying the chicken, enjoying the music. <laughs> My pleasure. Carl thank Dean, you. ladies and gentlemen, one more time. I'll take the microphone. Thank you. Thank you.